here we are, Surfing Goat Boy. He dropped off um, a board that's seen better days. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair the stripped FCS box. The problem is, is if you're cranking too much and you're trying to force this down, you will strip this uh, fin box right here and the screw will no longer have bite on the fin. It'll be super loose and fall out. So instead of taking it to a shop and having them replace the whole box, this is a quick and easy method um, and it works. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take some JB Weld, it's kind of like a, a marine epoxy, and you're gonna fill that up. Make sure you use some tape in here, otherwise that liquid's gonna drip right out and just fill up your, your fin box and you'll have to scrape it away in order to get a fin in. So put some tape in here, make sure it's in there really good and you're just gonna fill that up with the JB Weld. And the way I use, um, I use one of these syringes in order to inject it in there so I can make sure it gets in there, you know, in all the, all the spots and I can kind of pack it in and just really get it fully sealed in there. There's no air bubbles or anything. So it's full of JB Weld. You're gonna let that dry for 24 hours. I wouldn't let it go beyond that just because if it gets too hard, it could be too brittle. And then when you go to try to tap it, then it may kind of crack a little bit. And then you're gonna take a small drill. And this is a 5 ths And you're gonna follow the same angle that this is other screws going in. So you're gonna drill right in here and follow that angle and that's gonna be your pilot hole. Once that pilot hole is complete, you're gonna take the other screw, your other drill, and this is a number 24. You can't find these in, um, in your typical drill bit set. So if you got one, great. If not, you're gonna to have to go get it. So number 24, it works for these FCS screws. So take this drill bit and you wanna be real careful that you're using the same angle and you're not moving it around because you don't wanna expand that hole any more than this size. So once you have that drilled, all cleaned out, you're gonna take this fin key and obviously your FCS screw and you're gonna screw in to that new hole that you drilled and you're gonna tap your own threads with the screw. So when you start tapping it, I like to do a full revolution and then a half revolution backwards and that gets some of the excess material out and kind of pushes it out the back. So full revolution, half revolution. Full revolution, half revolution. It's like going two steps forward, one step back. But once you do that, you get to the bottom and then you can put your fin in and leave it in there and just go for a ride. Look at this beautiful boy. Oh my gosh. And most importantly, most important. this is it. The fin box. The fin box. Surfinggoats.com. I thought it was dot gov. Yeah, what well, is? Uh, but we, we, it's, it's all. Surfinggoats.gov. <laughs>